What's going on guys, it's Matrix here and I'm back with another video. This will be a tutorial on jailbreaking your 4.82 official firmware PS3. First off, I want to thank Jort for recording this for me as I don't have a second PS3 to record this on. Also, you do need to know that this only works on some console types. Um, if you have a super slim or a newer slim model, this is not going to work. So uh, yeah, first thing you're going to do is you're going to download the exploit file in the description. It is the first link inside a, a second folder I think in the download there's a flash.hex file you're going to put the flash.hex file on your USB and then put the USB in the USB slot closest to the disk drive after you do that you'll be going to the page that you just saw in the video you need to determine what console type you have whether you have a NAND or NOR there will be a link in the description to determine that and once you know you can go to either the NAND or NOR page on the PS3 browser um, again, links will be in the description for that. After you've picked the page and run the exploit, if it fails, you need to make sure your uh, home page on the browser is set to blank, and you need to get to the um, exploit page as fast as possible. Don't use Google or anything to get to it. Go directly to that page. After you have gotten success, your console will turn off, and then you can turn it back on and be at the XMB. We are now ready to install our custom firmware. I have a link to Ferox 4.82 in the description. There are other 4.82 files, but this is the one we will be using here. You do the same like you would update any PS3. You put the file in a PS, you make a PS3 folder on the USB. Inside of that, you have an update folder, and then you put the update file inside of that, named ps3updat.pup. Um, so now this is really it, all you need to get on uh, custom firmware and the video will stop after this is done as well however there are some other things I personally recommend doing and that is one getting to rebug and two converting to DEX after you install Ferox you'll be on a CEX console and my menus as well as a lot of other SPRX menus only work if you're on DEX so you will need to do the rest of the steps that I'm going to explain um, if you want to be able to use certain menus there will also be written tutorial in the description if you just want to follow that but the first thing you're going to do is there's a toggle QA package file in the description. You're going to download that, put it on your USB. Once on Ferox, you will see in the games column that there is a package manager option. You're going to go inside of that, click standard location, and then there will be a toggle QA package file there. You're going to install it and then run it. It'll be in the games column. You just click X on it like you're starting a game. It will run and then your console will, screen will go black for, I don't know, a couple seconds and then it will quit back to the XMB. After it quits back to the XMB, just restart your console, and then you should be able to install any firmware that you want. Um, I will be have, I have a link to 4.81 of Rebug, so that's what I recommend you installing. You're just going to put that update file on your USB, just like you did for Ferox, and it should install no problem. Once you're on 4.81, this is where you can convert to a DEX console type. I have a link in the description for a tutorial on how to do that. Um, it's pretty straightforward, not a whole lot to do in it. So um, yeah, you can just go follow that and then be on DEX and you'll be able to do whatever you want. Um, also, I wanna thank Red. Um, he's the guy that set up the website for the exploits themselves, so you didn't actually have to set up your own. Um, so thanks to him for making this process a lot easier than it could have been. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If you have any other problems, feel free to contact me. I will try to reply to you if I can. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. It's pretty straightforward. All of the links are in the description. Again, there is a written tutorial in the description as well. So you can just follow that instead of watching the entire video or if there's something that you missed. Um, so yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching and have fun with your newly jailbroken PS3.